You know what makes me excited? What? I forgot sunglasses. Is that it? Yep, that is literally word for word what I was about to say. <laughs> We're doing Disney World on your terms. This is Instagram Decides Our Day in Epcot. And you're not gonna believe the kind of stuff you made us do. You're gonna wanna see this. How dare you? Yeah, really. We've been told to rope drop oh. by you. But, oh, not by, by you. Oh, <laughs> by you. Not by, by you. By you. Um, so we've done that and we're now in Epcot and our first goal of business upon rope drop is apparently to walk all the way to the very back of the park and go to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. But honestly, that I'm I think I'm 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 grateful for it. Yeah. Because that's gonna like have higher wait times later on throughout the day. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, especially because you also, told us we couldn't buy Genie Plus. <laughs> you told us we couldn't buy Genie Plus. No Genie Plus, no Lightning Lanes. How dare you? But they did let us get a Guardians virtual queue, and I did get us one at 7 a.m. Oh wow! So we'll be able to ride Guardians a little bit later. But uh, yeah, for now we're just starting our morning with a brisk stroll. A brisk across the entire park. I want to be very clear. I did offer to get up at 7 a.m. and get the and get the uh, light at uh, the. Sage forced me to do it. Right. <laughs> You do it because I'm not gonna. He made me do it. <laughs> I did offer. I did offer. <laughs> also, a big shout out. Uh, obviously, you, you you were outnumbered, but a big shout out to the person who <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram at at uh, eight thirty six said, uh, "Go over <laughs> rope drop Nemo." No, 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 no. no not that person. No, no. Go <laughs> roll in the grass. No, go get Saki. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Like just go get Saki. Go get Saki. All right. All right. Eight thirty. Here we All go. Right, you you ask. Get ready for a weird video. <laughs> we are uh, actively letting you decide our day. We're not even looking at the wait times. I didn't even look at the wait time for Remy's. We just said Remy on Instagram. You see this line? What's that for? What? You see it? No. What is that line for? That line makes me uncomfortable. It looks like it's my view for Remy. What? You're joking. All right, now Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is an interesting rope drop choice. It is uh, one of the newest attractions in Epcot. It's second newest only to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. And it's very, very close to the back entrance to Epcot. So a lot of people can stroll up and hop in line. It's a hundred minutes. I mean, this is how long this line is. We are, this line goes all the way to Morocco. And there is Quincy, literally at the back of the line. The next question we ask Instagram is, do we get out of line? Out of line at Remy's. That is what I'm about to ask. Okay, good. <laughs> um, all right, so currently we are in the Ratatouille line. It's actually moving kind of quickly, but we are mostly waiting uh, to see if you guys want us to stay in line or leave the line. I mean, I mean, I get it. Fall break is very is is important for people. Well, it's moving pretty fast. But, and so are rats. And so are rats. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, I, this this all makes sense to me. Yeah. But. Uh, so, as a note, we did check wait times. Other wait times, pretty wild. Uh, test track's up at 90, Frozen is at 75. Everything else is still low, but it's rope drop, so it looks like it's a busy day. It's gonna be a bonkers day. Yeah. Another reason the Ratatouille line is able to shoot up so much in the morning is because, like the other Disney World theme parks, Epcot does offer early theme park entry for resort guests. So it's 30 minutes before our regular guests are able to get into the park. So 30 minutes before Sage and I could get here today. So what you're saying is we should have asked Instagram which resort should we which stay at? Which resort should we stay at to get <laughs> early theme before park the entry? Night, the night before. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I typically don't recommend rope dropping in this park. Okay. Contro controversial. But it's because this a lot of stuff, it just, it takes a bit for this park to kind of get going in the morning. Kicking the gear, right. A lot of food isn't open yet in the morning, besides like Connections Cafe in the very front, Sunshine Seasons. Um, and it it did, a lot of people rush to the rides, first right. thing. Whereas once the day goes on, usually the rides will mellow out a little bit. Praise be the Instagram followers. <laughs> they told us we can leave. They told us we can leave. We're gonna go, we're gonna find something else. Uh, well, Instagram followers, I, I, I appreciate you for, uh, Letting us leave and maybe come back to this at a different time. Sage has been gone for like eight minutes. I don't really know where he went. I've always been told that when you lose your friend, just stay still and they'll find you. And it worked. That's, it's like being lost in the woods. That's one thing I've never seen before. What? Them literally have to stop the- Have to rope off. Like the entire main pathway 
they have to stop so that way they can transfer this line to the actual line. Yeah. Well, that's cute. That's you and me. Is it? Yeah. Am I Eve? Yeah. Because <laughs> you hate the environment. Because I. How dare you? I love the environment. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm yeah. I'm probably the captain who like wants to just drink a Slurpee in his chair. Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> I'm the evil robot. <laughs> that I like it. Yeah. I like that. I like the combination. Is Gladys? I don't know, but it, it it's, it's again it's playing into our Kronk and Isma vibes. It is. It is. <laughs> okay, where are we going now, Quincy? Um, You've just been walking me somewhere, but I you won't have, tell me. Yes. In lieu of us riding rope dropping Rory's route to adventure, we are instead rope dropping Mission Space Orange. At nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Mission Space Orange. <laughs> so, oh, okay. good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Would you like a doggy bag? Good morning. <laughs> good morning. All right, we've arrived at Mission Space, and it is certainly a busy day because just after park opening, Mission Space Orange is already at a forty-five minute wait. So forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. So we're gonna head in and see if it's actually forty-five minutes. Uh, get an idea of that and then uh, try not to vomit as we plummet towards Mars. Well, uh, well may maybe we can ask Instagram what we should do in line while we're waiting for 45 minutes. It's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> so Mission Space is a very interesting simulator attraction here in Epcot. It is a um, centrifuge that actually spins you and simulates g-forces that are like as if you were launching into space. Real astronauts were involved in the development of this ride and they said that it was one of the closest experiences they had to actually launching into space which is very cool. Now if that sounds a little intense for you because it is and it can cause intense motion sickness there is an option for Mission Space Green which is the easier version that does not have the spinning and instead is just the simulator experience. So you've got two options here. I really enjoy this ride, so I actually am excited to ride it right now. Team six. Seven. We're told to be on team seven. Plot twist. Plot twist. And for descent to the surface of Mars. Okay. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket. You'll also deploy the shields. Commander. What are your buttons do? Um, this turns the panel on. Okay. This says yeehaw. <laughs> between both theme parks that we covered. No, there's, yeah, there's, there's nothing like so, this ride. So, you know, 
Yes, you can you can get you can get queasy on it, but yeah. I would at least I would try it out. Yeah, if you like a little if you like a little thrill, yeah. give it give it a shot. Ah. At the end of Mission Space they have this like fun it's almost like a like a playroom kind of situation, like an interactive you know, where you can play games. Remember when this like used to be the thing? Oh my god, everybody was in here all the time. This like you were mission control, that's what it was. Yeah. And you were like moving different uh, like virtual pieces to different like spots on the screen and that was it was like you got to battle between two different teams and there were there were 16 stations for like each team now there are only eight now there's only like four for each team wow. makes you feel kind of sad yeah we got off mission space right and uh correct i feel like that's always a thing that happens right. i'm always like hey quincy <laughs> what what a good thing Good vibe. Uh, we got a mission space, and we went to we went to Instagram. What's next? And well, the, the, the votes are in. What Starts with C and it ends with Love Cool. Kerbarba Love Cool. <laughs> Club Cool. Oh, okay, great. So Club Cool is one of my favorite things to do here at Epcot. Uh, it looks like a big Coca-Cola store, but actually inside, that's where you can sample different uh, kinds of soda from around the world. We, we were asked to put a bunch of different, uh, try a bunch of different flavors all together. So we'll see what happens. You can also buy your random drinks here, like your waters and your sodas, anything like, you know, your, your typical sodas. But really, the reason to come to Club Cool is to... Uh, well, try flavors from around the world. For free. For free. The flavors are still limited because of uh, supply chain issues. But it, it looks like all the flavors are still here. Just not every station has every flavor. So you might have to go to a couple different stations to grab all the different flavors. All right, so here we have to go to Club Cool, but mix samples of drinks together to see what you get. I think we should mix them for each other. OK. All right, how mean are you going to be? Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's we'll start. All right, let's we'll start off with a really, like, well, Really a nice one. A nice one. Try to make something nice for each other and then try to make something horrible for each other. Okay, great. I'm going to go away okay. so that way you can surprise Oh, me. good idea. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, and we went with the Minute Maid Joy Apple Lychee and the Sprite Cucumber from Russia. These are my two favorites, and I actually think they'll go really well together because neither of them are overwhelming. So, time to give us a sage. <laughs> Starting with good ones for each other. So there's a good one. Ignore that it's suspiciously clear. It is suspiciously clear. Okay. Here. Is it good? Is it weird? I feel like you're trying to trick me. No, I, it's really good. No, I did make a good oh, one. Good. Right, like, yeah, I really like it. It's like not super sweet, but like enough sweet. And then there's like a little like refreshingness on the back end. Oh. Solid Quincy. It's the Joy Apple Lychee with the cucumber sprite. So, so good. Yeah. I, I think that's where the refreshingness comes in is the cucumber on the back end. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. I... Now you have to make one better than that for me. All right, well, because I'm a monster, I'm going to give her the two worst ones first just to trick her to see if it works. I think that, in my opinion, the two worst ones. Uh, is the one from China, the Sour Plum flavor, and uh, obviously, you know, Beverly, even though some people prefer it, so we'll put those two together. So, just for funsies, Quincy got me that same concoction, and uh, I just want to try it, just to see how, how, how wrong I did her. So, uh... Oh, it tastes like... Spaceship Earth, the burning smell. It tastes like the burning smell. Oh god. Oh, oh no. We gotta give Quincy a little gift here. Remy has a 130 minute wait. Right oh now. my no. Yeah. Ooh, it's a pretty color. Right? Okay. Ooh. It's tropical. Are you into it? Yeah, I am. Okay, what, what do you think it is? It's got, I think that it is. Country Club and the Cucumber Sprite. Wow, you're really good at this. Am I actually like good at naming the Club Cool soda? That was really good. That's exactly what it is because I I love the uh, the Country Club. That's one of my favorites. It's and good. I felt like the cucumber would kind of cut the sweetness it a little does. bit. And I think the Country Club is too sweet. And this is really good. Right. Yeah. All right. I now did one of everything. 
but it's mostly Beverly and the Raspberry because we actually had one of everything when we filmed our top five day at Disney Springs and it was pretty good. So hopefully this is terrible. That's my goal here. I don't like raspberry, so maybe that maybe he does and this has ruined everything. This is this is your event, right? Yep. like actual it's actual cough medicine really oh yeah good yeah no it's like um <laughs> is it is it is it is it's a little sour and then there's like really really sweet it's because i put mixed them all together is this is this is this all of them it's most it's all of them but it's mostly beverly and raspberry okay all right okay. yeah is it all the honestly it could be worse. Okay. I think I did you the dirtiest. Ah, uh, fair enough. We just walked through uh, Connections Cafe, and I, did you hear that? Listen, uh, first of all, do you miss Illuminations? Yeah, a little. They have a jazzy soundtrack oh. of Illuminations that plays in. Uh, oh, I've never heard jazzy. that before. I didn't hear that. It was a, hey, we were a, oh we a, hey yeah. Uh, oh na, na, yeah. Na, na. All right, next up on things that you have told us to do, a lot of requests for Turtle Talk with Crush. Interesting. Um, and specifically, uh, this guy said, Turtle Talk, dudes. <laughs> okay. So, do you want to know something wild? What? I've never done Turtle Talk with Crush. W what? Not one. Ever. Oh, then this is an experience. I'm yeah. I'm honored to be the first one to do it with you. Yeah, I'm here all the time. It's one of the only things in Disney World I haven't done before, so. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Well, then, then this is, I mean, then this is, this video is about to blow up. <laughs> My first time at Turtle Talk with Crush. Well, that's the title. <laughs> that's the title. That's the title. <laughs> well, Quincy, since you've never done Turtle Talk with Crush, it's yeah. it's important to know. Uh, I, I There's some things I should... Um, I guess warn you about. Oh boy. Uh, you do go upside down. Oh no. Yeah, there are okay. upside down. Uh, there might be some explicit language. Oh my gosh. If you're uncomfortable with that. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh -huh. And you do, uh, you do have to turn in your shoes before you walk in. It is an insane day today at very Epcot. Busy. Very, very busy. Uh, which again, if it's fall break, it is what it is. Um, but I was looking over towards uh, Imagination. I was like, wow, look at that huge crowd for Winnie the Pooh. That's so sweet. That's not a crowd for Winnie the Pooh. That is a long, 30 long 30-minute line. line that goes out of the building, which never happens uh, for Journey into Imagination with Figment. The Seas with Nemo and Friends is not just the attraction. It's not just the little... Um, Omni Mover Ride, it is also an entire aquarium pavilion where you can go in and see fish. You do not have to ride the ride to get into the aquarium, but the ride does end at the aquarium. If you come over to the left here, you can enter enter through retail. Um, and that's also how, the easiest way to get to Turtle Talk with Crush. And people pass it up all the time. It's the yeah. second largest aquarium in the country. Should we say hi to the manatees for Emma? Uh, I, feel, I feel like Emma would be disappointed if we didn't. Me too. We can't disappoint Emma. So you can see how busy it is in here. Uh, this is the line for Turtle Talk with Crush right here. So, do you want to? While I wait in line, do you want to go ahead of the manatees? Yes. Grandma? Yeah. Well, well, you you handle the line. I'll handle the manatees. Okay. Um, just tell them. Tell them. Promise me you'll at least tell them a weird joke for me. I promise. Okay. I have to think of a weird joke. Emma's favorite exhibit here in the seas is the manatees exhibit. She makes me come in here and look at them. Literally every time we walk through, you can see a giant manatee tail right there. They are super, super cute. Um, oh, friend. All right, manatee. Uh, this is a hello from Emma and a weird joke from Sage. Um, why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he never lands. Don't you think that's funny? Oh, he said, yeah. Oh my gosh, so happy. You love the show. Oh. You know it's a busy day in Epcot when Turtle Talk with Crush has a 20 minute wait. Where is Sage? He hasn't moved. 
All right, so we are entering the Turtle Talk with Crush lobby. There was a line to get into the waiting area. Um, and we're now in the lobby for a show that's 20 minutes from now, which is pretty wild. Although, this is a new attraction to me. So 20 minutes for a brand new attraction, that's pretty good. <laughs> we're gonna learn so much stuff about turtles. I can't wait, I like turtles. What's your favorite sea creature? I think dolphins. Dolphins? Yeah. I swam with dolphins kind of recently. Are you scuba certified? No, are you? I am. Oh. We should. It's compelling. We should go scuba diving. <laughs> oh, that's. I'm afraid of being underwater. Really? Yeah. Oh, then then you should not go scuba diving. <laughs> now, in the in the waiting space for Turtle Talk with Crush, there are some fun interactive things. Like you can take a fun quiz. There are even some uh, little small exhibits. You can see some jellyfish. You can see some stingray. Right, trust, dude. Well, awesome. Check it out, man. <laughs> Hello, humans. Hello. Righteous man, they totally live. You so totally rock. Damn. You so totally rock. Damn. Little blue. <laughs> Wait, where? I didn't see anything. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, she went down? Bonus! Look at the humans using their fins. You're awesome, man! <laughs> fins up! Eyes closed, go! <laughs> Kayla! You're welcome, Kayla. <laughs> Dude, let's go! You so totally rock! Dude! I immediately remember that we forgot sunglasses. I was gonna say the same thing. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Okay. It's gotten overcast, but that makes it somehow brighter. Oh, it's so bright. There's no sun for me to block. It's just bright everywhere. How did you feel about your first? Uh, I loved it. Yeah. I loved Turtle Talk with Crush. It's so fun. Um, I really, really love Monsters and Glass Floor and Magic Kingdom. It's yeah. like one of my favorite things to do. It's a must-do for me in Magic Kingdom. Which really? Is, yeah, I think oh. is an unpopular opinion. Uh, I cried two times ago that I watched it. Really cute kid. Oh, dramatic. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, I think that that has the same vibes. It's very funny, even like for grown-ups, even though it is more toward, geared towards kids. But Crush makes a lot of jokes that adults can appreciate. It's only ten minutes long, and on most days you can walk right in there and go see the show yep. every twenty minutes. Uh, today it's a little busy. I'm not sure that typically I would wait twenty minutes for it. Mm. I'm glad we did today because I'd never seen it. And right. It was fun. We got to do it, experience it together. <laughs> Yes, yes, we and did. And with our Instagram followers. I will say, uh, uh, since you've never done it before, uh, the repeatability factor is is uh, important here because it does change every time. Even the uh, even like the hide and seek thing that happened. Yeah. I've never seen that before. That's so cool. And I've seen this. Uh, so like you know the you know him talking to different characters like Dory and Hank and that changes all the time. So not only are the kids uh, the kids' questions different because obviously they're all humans. They're different uh, children. But but even the interactive elements on the actual like in the tank is different as well. So it's a good repeat a repeatability factor. Yeah, I really enjoy it, and it's definitely like one of those Disney magic things of like, oh, Crush is really talking to you, which is awesome. Too, yeah, so. yeah. I liked it. Crush was also very funny. Yeah, Crush is very funny. All right, shall we? Yeah, dude. All right, Instagram has decided. And uh, we are actually uh, headed to uh, the World Showcase, finally, Yep. yep. Uh, to try something from a booth that we've never tried before. Yeah, and this is going to be tricky for me. I'm reading a lot of this festival. Right, I'm so by, but um, uh, I'm open. I'm open to some things. I might just have you pick it for me, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> just because I'm indecisive. I love it. Us actively just like trying to find things that we haven't eaten before. Yeah. Listen, I already did something I haven't done today, so we're already off to a good start. I know. While we're doing this, while we're looking for something that I haven't eaten. Oh, you know what? I haven't eaten some things at the Ireland booth. Um, but while we're looking, we got to find something in each World Showcase pavilion that starts with the first letter of our names. This is mostly going to be a you thing, I think, unless we can find a lot of quilts. <laughs> um, or any quicksand. Wait, so in, e in each country we have to find in one? In each country. We're going to do it over the course of the day if we can. Okay. Um, so something with our, it starts with our name. Uh, a quail. If there's a quail. A quail. Um, you know those Canadian quails. If there's a quote on something, there might be a quote on something in the gift shop. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Any quotes? No. No, 
Oh. I guess that's the restaurant. You say who's the best? Snowshoe. Got it. Done. Snowshoe. Oh gosh. See. Quartz. Quartz. Oh gosh. I just, I just want everyone to know that Sage did figure this out, but he forgot what it was called. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this. He was like, there's a rock that starts with Q, I know it. And I was like, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Yeah, All right, quartz. snowshoes okay. and quartz. All right. This is going to be really hard. It's so funny to me that they're selling rocks for $6. <laughs> Are they just rocks from Canada or do they mean things? I think they're just. I think I don't even think they're. I think they're just rocks. Um, they're not even Canadian rocks. I don't think they're Canadian. Uh, Definitely not. No, okay. it doesn't doesn't smell like a Canada rock. <laughs> you gotta taste it. <laughs> we haven't eaten a bunch at uh, Ireland that booth, but we're not. Uh, we're just not. It, it's a little mashed potatoes and. Not really. It's not potato time. No, it's not potato time. Um, we're in another pavilion though. Oh, we have to find something with our names. Yeah. Uh, all queen. Right. Queen. Oh, queen. That's brilliant. I've got one too. Queen. Perfect. You ever looked at this before? Yeah. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> Listen, every queen mm -hmm. needs her knight in shining armor. Shining armor? Are we looking for shining armor? Nope. So many swords. Nailing it. Look, there's Alice. There is Alice. That doesn't start as cute though, so. Why are you pointing her out? Uh, I, I don't know, because that. Because Alice was really, in, oh, really intrigued by um, the Groot on his shoulder. I didn't know what kind of interaction they were going to have, but I was, I was, I was into it. Stop, Groot time. Na, 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 na. I've eaten everything in France. Have you? Um, yeah. Actually, I don't think I've had the escargot thing, but actually, do, maybe I do want the escargot thing. What? I really like escargot. I don't think I've actually had the warm beignet filled with three cheese blends. Oh my gosh, you have to have it. It's so good. Have you not had the... the... I haven't had this. Is this what we're doing? France it is. All right. I don't know the words. <laughs> what just happened? Um, I dropped my escargot, but don't worry. I did catch it. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's everywhere. Oh, it's on you. No. It's on me. Oh gosh. It is. I can get you another one. <laughs> no, I can eat the one. That's, it's just hand flavored. <laughs> it's okay. So delightful. So, when you spill the Ascari crepe on your our brioche on you and Epcot, um, it actually comes out really easily with just napkins. Um, and, and these last fly bags are great for <laughs> cleaning up escargot. Also, I burned my hand catching yeah. my escargot. I was like, let's talk about that part. You you can see why he thought my pinky's turning red. Oh it my gosh, you burned. Oh. My snail. Are, are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? I mean, in the grand scheme, ah. <laughs> It looks so put together. So you had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> my meeting. This instead of throwing it on the ground. Thank you. Mm. That's so good. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's super buttery. <laughs> the bread itself, the escargot is soaked down into it. So you're getting the flavor of the escargot, a lot of garlic flavor. So much garlic. So much garlic. I love garlic. Me too. The majority of what I'm tasting here is garlic. And it's soaked down in the bread, but the bread, the brioche is holding its crunch on the very outside and then getting soft and warm in the middle. Um, it tastes delicious, even though I tried to throw it. Yeah. Um, does, I don't does the hand flavor, it. like... It adds a nice note of um, hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh, no. I would absolutely... I'm sad that I haven't gotten this before. <laughs> it's very good. All right. I'm going gonna, gonna to eat this now. So a lot of people consider it um, that the beignet is kind of... The cheese quality for some is akin to gravy. Is akin to gravy? Akin to gravy, like a breakfast gravy. Oh. And I actually don't disagree with that. I just enjoy it. Some people hate that. Oh, it does. Look at that. You see it what does. I mean? You see what I mean? But I find it delightful. There are three cheeses in here. From Ajada. I'm confused. This is a weird... 
This is not what I anticipated. No. It's also not really beignet texture, which I think for a lot of people it's a, it's is off-putting. It's a donut texture. It's like a donut texture. I don't know what I was expecting. It is not this, though. It's not bad, but for but for here in uh, France and you think of a beignet and three cheese, and you think, you think it's going to be really savory or you think it's going to be like enough sweetness in the beignet to level it out. It's actually just like kind of one note, which is, which is, I'm, I'm a slight disappointed by Which it. is breakfast gravy. It's, 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 it's literally, if I, if I were to put breakfast gravy in the middle of a donut with like maybe some cheese on top. And no sausage. And no sausage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very strange. I wish I could say I was a fan, but I think, I think you won with the, I uh, won with, with the hand snails. Hand snails wins the yeah. game. Yeah. Interesting. All right, while we are here in France, we still have to go find uh, something that starts with an S and something that starts with a Q. Disneyland, oh, sc scarf? Scarf count? Is that what this is? Is it a scarf? It's, a pocket, it's like a scarf pocket square? It's more of like a pocket square. Happy anniversary, Disneyland Paris, 30 years. All right. I know where we can find him with Q here. Really? Yes. Great. Follow me. Lead, right. lead the way. Quasimodo's costume. Quasimodo's costume. Thank you. That's awesome. Ooh. Here we go. Sleeping Beauty dress. Sleeping Beauty. Maleficent. Sleeping Beauty, uh, I guess, Sleeping Beauty, what do you call this? Uh, display. We're in Morocco, and this is going to be hard. Or maybe it's going to be easy. Find something with Q in, in, in Morocco? Alright. Yeah. There's something with Q in here? Yeah, I think so. This is Race Against the Sun, which is actually a really cool exhibit, and it kind of looks like you can't go in here, but you can. Oh, totally you can. And the air conditioning is great. Breathing down the sky. Hat with shield. Hat with shield. You got it? Oh. Is it a quote? Mark. We got it. There's a quote. Done and done. We did it. We were looking for a quote and we found one. Mitsuko Shi. The other thing I thought I thought would be about here. Quill and quills. quills. We're in the textiles room. No quills. I've been focused on Q. I haven't even looked at S's. S is easy. No. No? Why can't they just add more things that start with the letter Q? Like kimono? Why can't kimono start with the letter Q? Yeah, why not? These Buddha boards are a Zen thing that is so that like when you draw the picture you have to be okay with it drying and going away. And another word for something drying is for it to be quenched. I... Another word for drying is something to be quenched. The water is getting quenched. Ow. I don't even think that's true, actually, now that I'm saying it. <laughs> quench. Yeah, quench. I, like quench your thirst? Yeah. Quench. I will believe you if you look it up and you tell me that that is the actual definition. I will consider this word quenched, would you not? <laughs> no! I don't know what you're saying. My name's so cute, Sage. <laughs> Hold on, there's gotta be something. Okay. Found a shurasai. Shurasai? I don't know what that is. But it's that. That white thing. $190 for that. But it's not the letter S. Done and done. Did you know? Question. That is that is a question mark. Good job. You did it. Yep. Done and done. Question mark. Japan. Mm. <laughs> this is going to be it's really hard. All right. We made it to America. Yeah. Yeah. Quit, he's got to find some quarters. I'll, I'll find some or something. The Soul of Jazz, an American adventure, which is a jazz exhibit inside of the American Adventure. Also, the American Adventure have, has been taken over by a garden. Whoa. This is a cool exhibit. How have I never seen this before? You haven't seen this before? I love this exhibit. Hello. Let's find the letter Q. A Nubiac doll. I hope I'm saying that correctly. 
done. Yeah, that's, done. that's perfect. That's beautiful. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> Did it. We are in Italy. There is a pizza here. It You can get different sizes, but we had the, the, the ultimate size of $60. It's a half meter, correct? Half meter. That's and it, it's it's a uh, four cheese basically white pizza. It is it might have been the best pizza I've had on Disney property like hands down ever. Wow, really? In the history of ever. I think in fact come hither I will I will help us all out here. Will you pull up the menu for Yeah, so we'll pull up the menu. Alright, what are you what are we looking for here? Look for the pizza. There it is. There it is. Quattro Formaggi pizza. That's it. Quattro Formaggi pizza. And, yeah. and that's the pizza that we had. Wow. And uh, it was really good. But there's your keyword. My keyword. Quattro Formaggi pizza. Nailed it. Uh, I'll just Second I'll just do it. I'll just. What are you just doing? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's a good. That's a good choice. Done. All right. Okay, Quincy. That's me. Germany time. What if every time you said my name, I was like, that's me. Like, what are you, that's so Raven? Yep, that's me. Yep, that's me. The evil queen. I technically already used queen, but I used it vague, and that's her name, is evil queen. All right. It's a German fairy tale. It is, you're right. Oh, but you know, because we're in Germany, it's a German fairy tale. I'll give that to you. All right. Nice. S. Oh, you're in Steinman. Stein. Stein. We can go to the whole Stein house and see this. Uh, Stein house? Stein. 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 Oh, it's suspenders. Stein. Suspenders? That's more you. How? No, it's not. How dare you? Well, we're in China. Off to find the letters. Shall we? Inside Disney Shanghai Resort. Inside Disney Shanghai Resort. Oh, Sage! What? The Karak. What is that? The Guardian of the Water, obviously. Oh, is that it? Mythical creature floating on the Roaring Rapids raft ride. Oh, that's the Karak. Cool. Uh, the, I didn't read the Karak. Yeah. The Karak? That's me. It's <laughs> great. Then I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose the Jack, the Jack Sparrow stunt show. Sparrow stunt show. Sparrow oh, and stunt. And stunt. It's fine. I like it. The fjording. I just like this. The fjording. Oh, knitwear, knitwear. No, there, might, there might be some quilts, Quincy. Oh, wait, quilts? That's a good place to look for quilts. Yeah. Uh huh, because uh, up there there's a quilt. That's definitely a quilt. That's a quilt. I've never seen anything more quilt like in my life. Just take that, you well, quilt. No, like, quilt. Yes! I, look at, I mean, we already got snowshoes for you, but it's a quilt with snowshoes. Oh my god, it's us. That's you and that me. Is, that is us <laughs> inanimate object form. <laughs> Wow. I hate us. we're having fun. So just in case uh, snowshoe doesn't count again, here's the Stave Church. Which can be your us. That's good. Stave Church. And um, I've got an idea for Q here in Mexico. Uh-oh. Uh, my favorite pavilion. Uh, but can't do that right now. Mariachi Cobra is playing. Bye. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we lost her. We lost her. You know this. You know a lot. Some of these people have been in this from the very beginning. Yes. Like 40 years ago. Yeah, I love it. I wish they had an album. Chris, look at everybody dancing. I want to start crying. Oh, we lost Quincy. I love when there are magical moments. Epcot's busy. Epcot is busy. The line for La Cava del Tequila, I believe, is. Well, it might be the line for the whole thing, and oh. then split off to be the line for La Cava. Yeah, you're probably right. Remember me. Oh, I have to travel far, remember me. It's actually not that bad in here. The time you hear a sad guitar, know that I'm with you the only way that I can be. I'm gonna start crying. Until I don't stop singing I watched it on the plane and I sobbed. Like oh, a baby. did you? Fly high, Pepita. Pepita's my favorite. You know you have stuffed animals. I do. Look, Instagram has spoken. Yeah. And. I, I'm Are just, you saying they did not say to come look at all the cocoa merch? No, but there's a reason we're here in Mexico. I've decided we're gonna do a weird one. Oh no. Sorry. Uh, someone just met, suggested that we ride the three caballeros as many times as we can in an hour and then get margaritas. So that's 
Thank that's, you for the margaritas at the end. That's the reward. So that's that's what we're gonna do. I can definitely put in this. This is for children. Okay, so we gotta go. We gotta ride three caballeros. All right, we are currently in line for Grand Fiesta Tour, starring the three caballeros. It's a little bit of a line, a more than a, you know, a longer line than I have really, you know, that we, we usually really see ever. So uh, we're gonna wait in this line. We're gonna ride it as many times as we can in an hour. It is currently 1:48. One, one forty-eight. Uh, well, we will do this until 2:48, <laughs> well, as many times as we can within an hour. Uh, and then we get a reward of margaritas, so here, here goes nothing. Uh, the Grand Fiesta Tour uh, is an attraction, it's a slow moving boat ride that takes you uh, uh, basically through Mexico as uh, Donald has disappeared and the other two caballeros are trying to find Donald. Obviously, nothing bad happened to Donald, he's just doing up to his normal shenanigans, but they, they've, got a, they've got a show to get to, and that's where the uh, ride ends, at their big Three Caballeros show. If you had to say which of the three caballeros was most likely to uh, dump a brioche covered in escargot out of their plate and into their hand, which do you think it would be? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, popular opinion, probably Donald, because yeah. he'd do that like that, like thing. Yeah. But then I feel like Jose might be the clumsiest. I, I can't disagree with that at all. All right, great. You give me Panchito vibes, so... Got it! <laughs> Wait, who's, who is that? I think it's Panchito. Oh, good! <laughs> we got in line 10 minutes ago. Yep. But we started at 48. Oh, we started at 48? Yeah. Okay, then we got in line 8 minutes ago. Okay. So we might get on this ride in line. Oh, no! <laughs> right. Uh, honestly, until you said that, I forgot we were doing this a bunch of times. I thought this was one and done. There I go. It's a nice... No. Oh. no. <laughs> as many times as we can in an hour. For the so next hour. Put your game face on. <laughs> okay. He goes. That's one down. And the line is shorter now. Yeah, the line is definitely shorter. All right, we're getting back in line. It's 2.23. We probably got one more in us. Maybe two, though, depending on how quickly we can get back off and on again. Grand Fiesta Tour, take three. Three. That, that took you a while. All right, that's time number three down, and we're getting back in a very short line for oh. time number four. They should call it the road two twin. Right. Every time. Wait, wait. How many times have we had road two? It's the third of four. Three or four times we've had road that's two. That's a lot of road two. I've lost count. Oh, it's time. All right. Well, the answer is four times. Is how many times four. we could do it in the hour. But you know what that means. Margarita. We've earned our margaritas. Yes. All right, we are here at La Cava del Tequila to grab our, uh, I guess, trophy for <laughs> seeing how many times we our can. Trophy. Our trophy for seeing how many times this we is can. It's gonna be a twofer. What do you mean? It's a twofer. It's a twofer. It's a twofer. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited to find out what that means. Uh, but at La Cava del Tequila is, uh, well, it's the, basically uh, Mexico's tequila bar. Um, you can grab a bunch of uh, different kind of margaritas, uh, tequila flight, which is my personal favorite, as well as uh, you can actually take them to go, which is always recommended since there's so much here to do at Epcot. You can grab some queso, grab some snacks as well to carb up while you continue to drink around the world. La Cava del Tequila doesn't actually open until 11, so if you were hoping for that 9 a.m. margarita, then you're, you're out, of, out of luck. The free Disney Genie offering, which does the personalized itineraries, is okay. recommending that we ride three caballeros. <laughs> um, too bad it's Instagram besides our day. Too, uh, too oh bad. Well. Can't, can't ride three caballeros. Sorry, can't, Genie. Oh, no, not happening. All right, so I got the Malumita, which I've never had before. It's a relatively new margarita here at uh, Cava del Tequila. It is made with Contra Luz, Mezcal, Cristalino, Pineapple, Chili Poblano Liqueur, Lime Metallicus, and Tortilla Ash Salt on the rim. It looks wild, and uh, I've heard good things, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I got a bunch of tequila. 
Sam, right? We were supposed to get margaritas, Sam. Uh, well, uh, you, you told me to La Cava del Tequila. Just a little lime in there. It's a, margar- it's a margarita. I mean, it, all this, all, all this is missing is is the is the mixer ingredients. Yeah. So I got the tequila flight. Uh, it comes with four different kind of like basically tequila tastings. You got mezcal, blanco, uh, reposado, and añejo. And then a fun like tomato chaser, like a basically a, a palate cleanser, just so you can actually try all the um, tequilas. It's not supposed to be taken like four tequila shots. It's really supposed to be a tasting. That's why S for shots will be the whole letter that <laughs> will we'll be S for shots. Yes, for shots will be, will be the letter for Sage in, and, here in Mexico. And Q, but we're not getting it. Queso for Q. Q. And that's all of them. We did it. We did it. Maybe we did pick a Q at the end of a word in the American Adventure, but that's okay. We but, could say that I was there. <laughs> or Q for really legal. Maybe that's what we did. Cheers. Margarita oh, cheers. oh, are we cheersing? No. I'm choosing the viewer. Oh, I can cheers with you. You don't get, no, you're not. Fine. Cheers. Sip. What is a lot going on in this? What? A lot going on in this. What? Is, oh, I, now I'm intrigued. In like a good way. So I can taste almost every ingredient. I can taste the smokiness from the mezcal. I can taste the like sweet acidity from the pineapple. There's a little bit of spiciness from the poblano. There's ginger in it, I believe, which is adding a little zing. And then the tortilla ash is adding this like... It's tortilla ash? Tortilla ash. Oh, I didn't it's even know. It's adding this like... like very, I mean, it definitely, it kind of tastes like tortilla. It's it's like very, I mean, it's like burnt bread, but in a good way. Okay. I mean, it's, it's only on the rim, so it's a nice accent. This is definitely a more unique margarita. I think that if you are um, not into like the flavors of tequila or especially the flavors of mezcal, I would steer clear of this one and maybe go for one of the frozen ones like the avocado margarita. But if you like tequila, if you like mezcal, I love mezcal. Mm. Give this a try. She's delicious. You want, uh, this is... This is mezcal, you want it? You can put it in your drink yeah. if you want. We'll do that. Make it a double. Um, I don't really feel the need to review the tequila flight unless you want me to. You don't need to. No, it's basic te- It's basic tequila. I mean, like, uh, something to know that the clearer it is, the more of a bite it has, I guess. And then the darker it is, meaning like, so like the Blancos, like, that look like kind of like water-esque. Those have more of a bite. The, uh, the darker it gets, at the añejo, uh, the smoother it gets. So just, so just a fun, a fun fact. That's that's that'll be my review for you guys. Three caballeros. Three caballeros. <laughs> we've been traumatized. <laughs> it's, it's in our head forever. We're always and ever. together. <laughs> hey Sage. Yeah. Um, our Guardians of the Galaxy boarding group has been called. Oh. Yes. No. That. Well. That's. What are you, what are you doing? No. Nothing. I was. Uh, I was. Uh, I was uh, examining. Also, this is what you always do to me. <laughs> you always have your back turned, and I say, Quincy. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. Cl- like. No. Right. I don't know. I don't Q- know. Q- 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 montage. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Headed towards Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I woke up at 7 a.m. and got us the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind virtual queue. This is a little bit tricky, especially on busier days. Uh, this morning I actually had a refresh glitch, and when I refreshed, it went from probably getting like four or six for virtual queue boarding groups to all the way at 108. Oh, so wow. right at 7 a.m., probably at 7 a.m. and 10 seconds, I refreshed to get 108. And we are not getting called today until, what time is it? It is now 3.59. Until 3.59. So 4 p.m. is how long we had to wait to get called for this group. So especially if you think it's going to be busy, really, really be on it. I always pull up the like actual official national time on my phone and I watch the seconds until about 10 seconds prior. And then I pull it right, right when it switches on my phone. And I still got 108 today. 
So it's a little tricky to get on busier days. This one is not as tricky to get as Rise of the Resistance. With Rise of the Resistance, on average, I used to get like boarding group 64, and on this one, I get around, around boarding group four typically. But it is still tricky. Definitely get up early to get it. But we got ours. We've got them called back, which means we just head back to the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind queue. It's all done in the My Disney Experience app, and then we can hop in line. Hopefully, it won't be too long of a physical wait, but it typically isn't. Well, this feels like a solid, like, I feel like the Instagram uh, followers did, did, like, a really, really solid job today. I think so, too. The Perhaps the fact that we've only ridden Mission Space Orange and Grand Fiesta two or four <laughs> times was a little bit of a weird one. It, they that did was weird. They did try to send us to Remy. But, but also... We're riding Guardians, too. But we're at the parks all the time. That's true. And it was just kind of, I, I think that, I think... They made it fun for us, yeah, which I, I appreciate. So I think we've got a call, uh, one or two more in us. Uh, we've got Guardians now. We'll see what happens after, how much time we have. But I've had a good day. Yeah, so it's solid. Now, this is this would not be your typical park day. No. Abs you know what I've honestly had a lot of fun doing? What? Finding my name. Fi fi finding the first letter finding of your name of in each name. country? Yeah, that was hard. That was hard, but that was a nice, that was a fun challenge. It was a fun challenge. Um, so... So, fun fact, every time we write Guardi Guardians of the Galaxy, Quincy always gets Disco Inferno. Seven times running. I'm not exaggerating. Seven times running. It is the curse, the curse of, Disco of Disco Inferno. My Disco levels are just too high. I want, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, because you've never had it, and it's one of my favorites. My two top favorites so songs here are uh, Conga and September. You've never had September. So I'm really hoping we get September. I'm hoping for September because I'd love to have it. Or Everybody Wants to Rule the World, which is my favorite. Ah, oh, boo. Ah, oh, boo you. <laughs> I, like to I like to compare it to three specific attractions all mashed up together. Rock and Roller Coaster, Space Mountain, and Escape from Green Gods because of the ride vehicles because they move so uh, specifically. It is a coaster. It is a fast. It is fast. It is a backwards launch. It's very cool. However, uh, for those of you that get motion, motion sickness, uh, Quincy, you don't—you don't actually don't get motion sickness on this. Yeah, and I'm motion sickness prone. I get it other places, but not on Guardians of the Galaxy. And I think that just because the, the, the coaster is so smooth. All right, we're in line for Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not too long. It just kind of heads right up the ramp, and then you stop. So I think we'll be on pretty soon. We'll keep a timer of it. Hopefully, like 20-ish minutes. Why are you? You're actively checking out Rocket Raccoon. He's the most stylish of the Guardian. Look at that fit. He had to do it to him. <laughs> he had to do it to him. What's happening? I'm not sure. Our power's out. And the cosmic generator's gone. Here you are. Go to Code Red. Compare the fleet. And call the guard. Okay. How do you feel that we've been uh, volunteered to help save the universe? So good. You feel good? So good. I Let's, feel bad. I'm used to it. I'm not uh, <laughs> equipped to save any universe. How, how do you feel? How do you feel about the fact that we're probably gonna get Disco Inferno again? Oh, no. Sad. <laughs> I'd love to not get Disco Inferno, but my curse. Noted. Noted. Hey, baby bird. Disco Inferno. No, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> baby bird. Woo! So you're, you're literally putting the curse on yourself. <laughs> I'm not. It's just I'm just leaning in. I know. Okay, but maybe because you sang it, you got it out of the way. Maybe. Maybe that was maybe that you broke was the, how curse. You the curse. That's it. We'll see. I'm gonna lose my mind if it's just going for I'm gonna cry if it's just going for it now. Disco Inferno because the curse was broken. God said. Broken by September. September. All right, now that we've finally broken the Disco Inferno curse. I'm thrilled. I'm so glad you were here for it. I'm, I honestly, I, I feel honored. Yeah. So what? So it, is September your new favorite? Like what's what's happening? I'm on the fence because everybody wants to rule the world is my favorite because I like how it's kind of like. You big hippie, you. Like atmospheric? Yeah, I am a little bit of a hippie. But September has a little bit of that while it's still upbeat. So I'm, I'm undecided right now. I need to ride them both again. 
Yeah. All right, let's get back. Let's, let's, let's get back in line. Last one. Safe. Uh, we have to get each other, pick each other out souvenirs and uh, creations. Yeah. Creations, yeah, yeah. Wait, are not, like, is there like a theme around this? Um... The theme that you need to be looking for is Quincy. Okay, it's not like a, it's not like a meeting for the first time, Quincy. It's not like uh, we're like we've, we've known each other for years, You're Quincy. Going, this is very deep. I'm to a, follow your heart. I'm a deep follow. Okay, so to follow, follow my heart, your Quincy. Heart. Follow your heart. Okay, so you're, you're, you're. And I'm following my heart, Sage. Okay, great. I love it. So again, we are picking out something for each other in the creation shop. Yep. Uh, you guys told us to do it, so that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Let's go. All right, Creations is the biggest merchandise shop in Epcot. It's gonna be where you find most of your like staple Disney merchandise. And I gotta pick something out for Sage. I gotta follow my heart while I do it. Something for. Quincy. I don't know what that is yet. I want to get some. I want to see if I can find something Coco or Encanto, Encanto. But uh, I, I think all of those are would be scattered elsewhere. I don't know if I don't, uh, definitely co the Coco stuff is in Mexico. The 40th stuff is kind of cute too. So let's we're gonna find something. Oh my gosh! Stop! I know I'm not shopping for me, but look at this classic, like Dumbo merch. That's so cute. Oh, this is... Well, oh, this, this is, is awkward. awkward. Well, uh... I don't want to go that way, so I'm going to go this way. Alright, great. Sage. What should I get him? That's definitely something Quincy would say. 10 out of 10 would, would recommend. But that's just not screaming Quincy. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he loves Star-Lord, but I'm not seeing a lot of Star-Lord merch. Let's say, like, Groot. Well, that's kind of cute. An Encanto lounge fly. Found it. Oh, they only have it in smalls or extra smalls, which are not his size. That's upsetting. Should I grab it anyway and say, but in your size? I feel like that's a cop out. He literally was just saying how much he likes the red jacket. Th these faceless, like colorful, faceless mannequins, they freak me out. Part of me really wants to do this going through life, like shirt that has hey hey on it, but I feel like that will not be as good as the Starler jacket. Oh, this Pizza Planet is cute. The choke, also cute. Again, just not screaming Quincy. Also, she loves Rocket Raccoon. Maybe I get her a Guardians thing. Let's, okay, let's, let's look at Guardians. All right, gotta find Sage. Got Starler jacket. In tow, gotta find him. I was also that kid in stores that would find a sword and then just carry it around for the like just throughout the rest of the store until my mom was done. I feel like this is it. This is the one. It's not Coco, but it's Encanto, which she also loves a lot. I also just love Lounge Fly. All right, gotta find Sage. The designs Got are very creative. Starlord jacket. Let's wait here for in her. In tow, gotta find him. Maybe she'll show up. Oh, there he oh. is. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Have you selected something? I have. I have selected something. Okay. I shall go first or you shall go first? I don't care. Uh, do we do it at the same time? Yeah, same time. Okay. Ready? Like spread out for the fall out. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, that's oh, that's, that's good. very cute. It's the it's the Starler jacket. I know. We're just I mean, talking just, about his style, so and I like, know it's not Coco, but I would never. Encanto is a close like yeah, second. Very very good movie. Yeah. Amazing. No, I love it. And Take you keep your, talking about Encanto. This right? is uh, size small, which is not your size, <laughs> um, but they didn't have any bigger, so right. that's what you, that's what I got you. Well, perfect. I love It'll it. It'll be a crop. I love it. We'll just like we'll just model it. Like It'll this. be a crop. A, a crop. Oh, yeah. A Star Lord crop. Star Lord crop. Star Lord crop. <laughs> I love it. Great job. Yeah, you too. Great work. Instagram decided our day. Wait, sorry, we got to start again. Instagram decided our day. And they did not do a bad job. No, it was a good day. I had a lot of fun today, honestly. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, there were some weird ones in there. Finding finding something with my with you as the first letter in every World Showcase Pavilion, that was a challenge. That was tough. Yeah, we didn't even really do it. <laughs> No, we did do it. We 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 like we fudged a couple things we here and there. We fudged a couple things here and there, but there well, are no rules. Yeah, yeah, and and overall, I mean, we did two attractions, three no three attractions. Three attractions. Uh, not bad. Yeah. Uh, and but one one was like a, 
you know, e ticket attraction. And baby. one we did four times. What was your favorite thing we did today? Honestly, just I was it was the hardest thing we did, but it like put my like I saw things that I don't usually see a bunch. Yeah, same. Okay, yeah. I loved I loved finding the letters. Me too. Yeah, okay. I also loved because it's I just think I like fun challenges. I liked writing writing three caballeros. Yeah, those are the fun ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Um, those are both of my favorite too, honestly. I feel like this isn't the kind of thing you're gonna do in the theme parks, these kind of things, but I hope that we showed you some stuff that you don't typically see in Epcot yep. that you can come check out next time you're here. Um, I had a blast today. So. Yeah, so thanks for helping us out, yeah. Instagram. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch our best day ever at Magic Kingdom. Yeah, see you there. Yeah, bye.